This is the Pedal Commander. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about this and all of them are pretty low production quality. So today I'm gonna give you the gift of a good review. And the Pedal Commander, what it is, is it's uh, reported to uh, send basically more voltage to your uh, throttle body. Essentially back in the day when you, I think 2005 and older, when you press your accelerator, a cable would open up the throttle bodies. Now it's electronic. And a lot of the times when you, even if you floor your car, um, the throttle body is not completely open and uh, Pedal Commander seems to uh, allege to change that. As soon as you open the box, you're met with a hard decal, a branded alcohol wipe to clean off uh, the, the uh, place where you're gonna mount it, a plastic quick release bracket, the Pedal Commander itself, which is threaded through, a lanyard, and the Velcro strip. I'm gonna leave the lanyard behind and, uh, and just focus on the item. If you have the ability to cover your mouth when you sneeze, then you've possessed the common sense enough to install this. Now, there's plenty of installation videos, so I'm not gonna spend much time. Basically, you attach the uh, Velcro stripping to the back, then you'll peel off that and stick it where you want on the truck. However, I wanna see how bright the lights are on this before I choose where I wanna mount it. So, what you do is you take the plug end and in that small space between your windshield or your uh, steering wheel and your center column, you simply push it through. Next, you'll see a plug right there. You simply unplug it, one uh, side of the pedal commander into each. Again, the installation is like literally one of the easiest things I could ever do, so I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time. But anyway, the pedal commander is now plugged in. Uh, I haven't mounted it yet, as I said. Let's start the truck up and see what happens okay it's doing some search okay so it said city so the lights aren't that terrible my hesitation with committing to sticking it somewhere is i want to be able to change it on the fly but i also don't want to see it like that that crazy as you can see it's actually got quite a stealth appearance like if i was to mount it there you know it kind of blends in with the light from the start button so that might not be too bad right there so before i install it you press the pedal commander button to change it from city to sport to sport plus you hold it down to get it to go to eco but uh, for now I'll be leaving it in city when you're in each mode there's also a plus four option which gives you a green light if you're in plus if you cycle back down it'll give you a red light in the minus modes so essentially each setting has eight variables so you could be city plus two sport plus four sport plus plus four or sport minus four depending on what works for you this is going to be like the kind of on the fly it's nice that you can change it on the fly because obviously you could find what likes for you but you know obviously uh you know that's that's going to be kind of a personal preference so i ended up deciding to mount the pedal commander kind of down here on the uh the downward kind of slope from the start button again from you know your your cabin position you're not going to see it and realistically i mean it's not something that you're going to be messing with all the time most likely once you find the setting that you like i want to be clear that in no way am i saying that i don't like the look of it or anything like that i'm just very obsessive about the interior you can see the radar detector i have it very nicely mounted so when i see when i sit from the cockpit all I see is this one wire instead of this thing dangling all the way down. So again, this isn't any reflection on the um, the quality or the look of the Pedal Commander. In fact, the, the unit itself is actually much smaller than I first anticipated. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the video here. Uh, I'm actually going to drive the vehicle for quite a few days and then we'll bring the video back and I'll give you my thoughts. I can't just go out and drive it. You know, I, I wanna feel it for real. I wanna feel it, you know, in an organic sense that I'm not kind of just rushing through a 20 minute drive just to create the end of this video. So uh, it'll be instantaneous for you, but for me, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna be a couple of days. So new outfit, a couple of hundred miles on the truck maybe, and, uh, and, a, and a review. So here we go in five, four, no, five is too many. Three, two, one. It's future Jay. Jay is older, wiser, and I'm here to give you an update. As I told you earlier in this video, I installed the Pedal Commander, and I wanted to drive around for a little while to give you uh, 
uh, realistic review that was more than just you know 20 minutes or so but before I give you my thoughts and opinions I actually want to do a test I have a real-world 0 to 60 performance uh, calculator hooked up to the truck I'm gonna see what real-time results we get with each of the three uh, performance orientated uh, not tunes but options on the pedal commander so let's see what they do this is with the pedal commander off just using the stock form So in stock form, the zero to 60 time was 9.9 .9 seconds. Not my proudest moment, but uh, we ended up doing 61 miles an hour, 9.9 .9 seconds. That was in the stock configuration. So let's spin around and we'll try city mode. I'm not gonna do plus one or plus anything like that. We're just gonna do straight city mode. City mode, here we go. It was about the same time in city mode, honestly, but I didn't mash the pedal down quite as hard uh, at the beginning. So I'd say city mode in a stock or in a standard configuration gives you about a half a second, zero to 60 time improvement. So let's turn around again. Next is gonna be sport mode. And after that will be the sport plus. Like zero to 60 again, here we go. There's 60. So that time we got an 8.9 second, which that's a full second off of the uh, off the stock configuration, just with um, uh, the voltage to the pedal being changed. That's no tune. This is obviously a stock truck still. So you know that's a full second just based on the uh, pedal commander. So we're going to turn around a final time and do uh, the Sport Plus mode, and we'll see what we get there. Started breaking loose a little bit. There's 60, 8 seconds. That one gave us 8.9 seconds as well. That's the same as the uh, Sport mode. So thus far with the Pedal Commander, I've actually been quite impressed. Um, using I use the City mode minus 2. That gives you kind of the best uh, daily driving experience for me personally. Um, I've got a buddy who uses the Eco mo Mode Plus 2, which I think is pretty equivalent to City Minus 2. Um, it's nice because you do get a more linear feel for the throttle. It makes you feel more like there's a cable. Um, one of the things, you know, I did try City just by itself, and it was, it was great. Honestly, it was great. It just, for me, it was one of those things where I got a lot more... It was almost even too aggressive for for what I wanted on the uh, on a daily driving uh, application. So city minus two, it brings it down a little bit, you know. So each each mode has four um, degrees, like I said earlier, that can go up four or down four. So like I said, city minus two is what I've chosen. You just saw the realistic zero to sixty times, um, and you know with just different voltage going to the pedal opening the throttle body, you can see almost a second and a half off your zero to 60 time with absolutely no tuning. So that begs the question, is the Pedal Commander the perfect um, alternative for tuning for those of you guys who want to keep your warranty intact? And honestly, I would say yes. When Pedal Commander first came out and I first started kind of investigating what it was, there was a lot of rumors that, you know, it would throw engine codes or lock you out. but it's really not doing anything but adjusting the voltage that goes to your pedal um, sensor, the throttle position sensor. You know, there's been rumors that the that the eco mode mode does adjust and throw a throttle position sensor code. I haven't experienced it. The other guy I know that uses it hasn't experienced it, and he runs it on eco all the time. The other thing is, even in city mode, before I was averaging 19 miles a gallon, now I'm averaging 19.3. That's um, that's without even resetting the uh, the miles per gallon. So I've overall gotten a just in a you know about a hundred miles with the pedal commander on. I've seen a 0 
uh, increase in my average and that's you know 600 miles on the truck only 100 miles probably with the pedal commander installed so i mean having better throttle response improved performance and improved gas mileage i can confirm that in real world these i've seen these results and they are correct i do want to confirm that i did purchase the pedal commander myself this is not a sponsored this is not a sponsored placement um this is my true genuine unbiased review and i'm actually happy with it like i said for those guys who want um, to wake up their truck a little bit to get a little bit better driving feel without doing deletes or performance upgrades that are or tuning um, which is you know warranty void stuff like that this is actually a great alternative it's super easy to install the only constructive criticism I would have is the velcro even while using the uh, app the alcohol pad to clean the surface the velcro has uh, pulled off the the sticky backing has pulled off my dashboard two times now So I may have to look at getting some stronger Sticky velcro that is the only criticism I have of the pedal commander so far. So I'm I'm actually really happy with it You know, I didn't test the eco mode just because as you saw on the chart that I posted, you know, the eco mode actually reduces the voltage under stock and I don't want to run under stock. So essentially to sum it up, the pedal commander works by adjusting the voltage that's sent through the pedal to the throttle body. Um, I'm going to put a chart up on the screen here that shows each of the uh, modes. You can pause it now to see, but like I said, I run with the city mode minus two and I would probably run that on the highway as well guys I'm very happy with the pedal commander check them out in the link in the description below and like I said if you have any questions let me know but for me this is a perfect thing you know manufacturers now are using more gears and things like that to improve EPA and to meet EPA regulations well the thing is is my transmission has eight gears now and you know it sometimes feels a little bit sluggish because of that to be honest with you so this really wakes it up makes it feel like how it should drive and honestly guys if you have any problems with it you can just unplug it you know it's undetectable because you're not altering the uh, ecu you're not altering anything in the in the truck's computer so it's really risk-free uh this one gets the j flat out stamp of approval like i said if you guys do have any questions leave them in the comments below or hit me up on instagram at j flat out as most of you guys do that way it's one-on-one -on -one, and i definitely will check that more than uh more than anything else so if you've enjoyed this video please leave a comment a, a like please hit subscribe if you know if you did learn something uh we're going to be continuing the the build on this ram as we go along so i encourage you to subscribe and follow the playlist guys thank you so much for watching i love the support and you guys without your support this would be nothing as always i'll see you next video Brian Little. <laughs> Yoga!